folks to watch the program. What's the matter? It's on the ammo level, isn't it? Yeah. No. Okay. Now, if you actually attend this broadcast at Yankee Stadium <laughs> a week from uh, this Friday, you'll win uh, these Yankee Mets, Yankee prize packages. I don't know if they're Mets or not. Some packages will actually inc include autographed Yankee baseballs. Whoa! Oh, hey! Everybody who stays until the end of the show, or any, everyone who lives till the end of the show, <laughs> will be eligible to win one of ten pairs of tickets for one of the weekend's Yankee Met games at Yankee City. Great. Fantastic. So you want to get there early. Yeah. Hey, yeah, that's a great idea. Go <laughs> at two in the morning. Sign your organ donor card. <laughs> Watch your wallet. <laughs> Keep listening for more details. I'm Mr. Morning at Yankee Stadium with lots of special guests. We don't have any special guests, do we? No. We have no special guests. <laughs> We're going to have Fred. <laughs> yeah, we have Fred and uh, the Cardinal. No special, special guests. Guess. What are you, nuts? Surprise stuff. There's the former heavyweight champion of the world now who just got out of prison, Iron Mike Tyson. Good morning, champ. <laughs> What? I'm out of prison. I, I know that. I hated to leave my friends behind. Yeah. But I couldn't wait for them to leave mine, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't exactly a day at the beach, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I just spent the last 108 days of my life as Denise, the shower attendant. Well. But at least I'm out. All I got to do is $200 of community service somewhere. Mm -hmm. They were going to make me be a janitor at the Mensa office, but the judge ruled that would be cruel and unusual punishment. So I'll just be a janitor at a homeless shelter. I'll tell you what, Mr. Chubb, no more road rage for me. Next time I get the urge to punch some 62-year-old guy in the face, I'll just come visit you. But I'm going to need a job to tie me over till I can get back into the ring and see if how your radio station gave one to Marv Albert. I was thinking I could come down there and work with you. Let me ask you something, champ. Uh-oh. What? When you were in prison. Did anything funny happen? No. Oh, bite me, you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> <laughs> On July the 2nd, 1953, I was serving time for armed robbery. At 4 o'clock in the morning, I was sleeping in my cell. I heard a whistle blow, then I heard somebody yell. I miss in the morning. Announcing a memorial week. Hall, hey, those three wire bales, about having them two wire jobs. They really are. I mean, if you go in about noontime, you're hungry. You're hungry after hauling all that hay. As far as what you're talking about, I have no idea. <laughs> Sounds like a conversation with Fred. <laughs> what in the world? He's quite a fellow, that Jimmy Williams. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the Yankee players say they've been distracted in recent days as they've begun preparing for the I Man's visit. Instead of taking batting practice, players have been autographing baseballs for the Iron Man show, <laughs> which will be used to entice listeners to get up at 4 a.m. and travel to the Bronx. <laughs> NBA playoffs, what do the Utah Jazz have in common with the I Man? Both do quite a bit of charity. Jazz beat the Blazers. What do you think it would take to get somebody to actually show up for this thing in the Bronx? <clears throat> Yankee Stadium. Oh, geez, I don't know. But it's got a, well, you suggested perhaps, uh, you know, something, a major giveaway. No. Oh. You know, automotive giveaway, something like that. I'll bring in some crack holes from outside the sure. stadium. <laughs> something. <laughs> Doesn't look good, does it? 5.30 in the morning at Yankee Stadium? No. <laughs> I don't even want to go out there. We're going to cancel brother. this thing, can't we? It's got to be a Can we get out of this? It's got to be a sure. Why do we want to do this? We don't. We don't want to do this. You're you crazy. Have, <laughs> man, huh? you, you have the juice that you say you do. We cancel it. Yeah, it's that, stupid. Like we got to go to the uh, <laughs> Yankee Stadium. I mean, say the audience. Another case of you ignoring your own gut. Not, not paying any attention. Now, my initial instinct was yep. to say no, which is what I did say. Then I got to thinking about it. I thought, well, you know. Hey, at least you have a gun. What are we going to do? <laughs> Precisely. Very good point. Yep. Can of mace? That doesn't look good. No. The greatest borough in the world! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're not. And you won't go, will you? No, I'll be there. Oh, you will? With, with my brother, and my brother the cop. Yeah. I'm going to need him. Side sure. Arms. John will help me. 5.30 in the Bronx. That's crazy. Bring us a brother who's a cop in Yonkers, right? Correct. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's he done lately? <laughs> Made a lot of arrests. Any plungers in his uh, history? <laughs> no, that kind of situation, no. No, the whole thing. No, we got to rethink this yeah. whole day. Oh, my God! They killed... I miss in the morning.
from driving across a pier